King Charles and Prince William may have an ace up their sleeves to change the narrative set by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex with their Netflix docuseries titled Harry and Meghan, one commentator has said. However, it is unlikely they would resort to it due to the ripple effect it could create, PR and reputation management expert Eric Schiffer said. While speaking about the effects Meghan and Prince Harry's six-part documentary could have on their image, the Californian-based commentator told Express. Co.uk, in Britain, they will cement and further amplify a pariah status, but outside of the world, they have been able to paint a different picture. The question is, will the King and William decide to handle this in a different way? and is there material or information that they may want to expose as well that could change how this is viewed? But that's unlikely because that just opens up a Pandora's box of further challenges. In their first product released for Netflix, Meghan and Harry spoke about their love story and their struggles with members of the royal family as well as the press. While the first half of the show, which debuted on December 8, took aim mostly at the media and paparazzi, the second volume of the documentary, released one week later, included damaging allegations against the palace and firm members. Prince William was one of the targets of the allegations and criticism made by the Duke and Duchess. The Prince of Wales, Harry claimed, screamed and shouted at him while their father was saying things that just simply weren't true as they all attended a summit held to thrash out the Sussex's exit plan in January 2020. The fifth in line to the throne also made claims of leaking and planting of stories made by the palace. The Duke also made claims regarding the trading of stories between royal offices and the press and accused Prince William's office to be part of this dirty game. This claim, refuted by many royal correspondents, was reinforced by Meghan's friend Lucy Fraser, who alleged that former actress became a scapegoat for the palace. During the program, Harry claimed that, while he married for love, other members of the firm feel the temptation or an urge to marry someone who would fit the mold as opposed to somebody who perhaps you are destined to be with. While he did not mention William nor Kate by name, many assumed the Duke was speaking about his elder brother. Harry also seemingly claimed he and Meghan were better at the job than Kate and Prince William and that this was upsetting people. Again without mentioning any specific royal, Harry said, the issue is when someone who's marrying in, who should be a supporting, a supporting act, is then stealing the limelight, or is doing the job better than the person who is born to do this. That upsets people. It shifts the balance. Because you've been led to believe that the only way that your charities can succeed and the only way that your reputation can be grown or improved is if you're on the front page of those newspapers. Neither Buckingham Palace nor Kensington Palace commented on any of the allegations included in the docuseries.